So for me, I think the ES-175 or the ES-165 as I'm playing right now, to me is the most kind of ubiquitous uh, image that evokes jazz guitar for me. Um, you know, the Joe Pass thing, the Pat Metheny thing, the Jonathan Christberg thing. Guitarists, young and old, modern and from back in the day, uh, tended to use this kind of instrument. So. In 1949 was when this thing was created, and around that time there wasn't so much of this going on, right? So the modern kind of music experience I think is way different to what it was back then, before even things like AC30s were around and Fender Twins and all this sort of stuff. So now I think the most common uh, jazz amp for guitarists tends to be something like a Fender Deluxe Reverb, that's what I see a lot of uh, if you watch YouTube and stuff like that, unless it's Julian Large, in which case it's a Fender Champ for whatever reason. But um, big, clean kind of amps. And the thing that happens, I found, and even jamming with David Beebe the other day, we found quite quickly without much volume at all. You get this feedback. jazz tone that you might as associate with someone like Pat Metheny or uh, Pat Madoggy. Yeah, Pat. Um, right, I'll put them down here a sec. So you get these resonances even at like speaking volume. taking the bass down but it's still kind of there and even if I took it up to gigging volume like I don't feel like most people on stage now gig at this kind of volume although jazz can be quiet these in some experiences if you're playing a festival or if you're playing a club or for me has been the one problem that I've experienced with hollow body guitars as a guitarist that plays the occasional bit of jazz live sometimes you have to also play kind of funk and fusion on those sets as well and this kind of guitar when you add overdrive into the mix as well of course is very very problematic now of course in 1952 the subject of this guitar came along know that I see loads of people playing jazz on a Les Paul. Les Paul himself of course did play a bit of jazz and um, for me it seems to be a slightly overlooked instrument which would be ideal for this sort of thing given that although you don't have the hollow body thing going on you've got a chunky neck, um, you've got Gibson voiced pickups um, you know Too much. 
much, but you know, I'm down to sort of three, four here. <laughs> To play jazz on, given that, if I crank the volume up even more, uh, let's give it some. get the feedback thing going on um, you know it can sound plenty plummy if you put some heavier strings on here I think as well you get close to the feel um, the other guitar that I've got there the ES165 has flat lines on now you could put some flat lines on a Les Paul the thing is it would be a slightly less versatile guitar and then you wouldn't necessarily be able to do the things that we all know a Les Paul for you know like the bluesier stuff the rockier stuff or even the heavier kind of um, rock god type stuff, but I think if you put some heavier ish, you know, 11s or something on a guitar like this, you can totally do the jazz thing on it. And in any case, you can kind of do jazz on whatever guitar you like. Uh, that is certainly true, you know, and this is part of what this thing has been about the series. You know, does anyone play jazz on, for instance, an SG or on uh, a Jazz Master or on a Strat? You know, it's interesting to get your take on it as viewers on you know your favorite guitarists and what they end up playing so the Les Paul fill up the comments with your favorite players who play jazz on the Les Paul I'll start it off with Les Paul um, seems like a good place to start but I think something we should probably see more of given that it's a, a guitar from Gibson from you know three years after the ES175 that was kind of used for jazz and different bits and pieces back in the day and is totally capable of getting these kind of tones um, with kind of Gibson classic, you know, path pickups in there and a, a clean amp, you can totally do the jazz thing with it and you don't have those problems of it feeding back. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 